Welcome, Shu. Hi, thank you for having me. So what have you been up to lately? I presented throughout a feature film documentary entitled Tattoos of Scarred History. We took it to Cannes Film Festival and had eight worldwide offers. It's now being distributed in the UK and Ireland and from that I went on to do an autograph signing. If society's acceptance of tattoos diminished due to the Bible, does this mean then that people are now more accepting of tattoos as they move away from the church and other religions? Tattoos versus the church is on. Would you regard tattoos as fashion and if so, why? What is it that stirs so much emotion within the non-tattoo population? I desperately wanted to get a response from eBay in regards to the selling of tattoo kits, but every time I tried to contact them, regrettably, they ignored me. I was privileged to be casted as lead presenter for BBC's Takeover TV. Hi from Takeover TV in Denby, I'm Shashila Pillay. Wales is famous for its castles and we've got our very own here in Denby. Now it may not be as famous as Carnarvon or Harlech, but we love it and it's probably our most famous landmark. Trevor is the castle warden and he's here to tell us more. How do you feel now that the hospital is being unused and it's empty? Well, I think it's a disgrace, to be honest. It's, um, it is a magnificent building. Then I was approached to present a DVD called A Day in the Life of Tom Baker. Hello and welcome to the Stamp Centre here in London, Tom Baker's spiritual home. Today we're going to give you exclusive access into Tom Baker's life and his adoring fans. How does that feel? Lovely. Following that, I was asked to co-present a gardening show aimed at children and adults. I love the opportunity of working with children and with special needs. And I even had a job of presenting science to children between 5 and 16 years old. Roger, Roger, Roger! Shoo, shoo, shoo! <laughs> As we walked in, there was a huge selection of hanging baskets and I'd love you to tell me where on earth do I start? So, by doing a hanging basket, how much compost would we use in a big packet? Now that is a good question. Excuse me, where have we finished already? Oh. Oh, okay. See, well, girls we'll, call best. That, we'll call that a draw. Is, are we happy with that? I don't think so. We Ooh. won, didn't we, girls? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the beautiful little face. Does it remind you of anyone, Shu? Well, it's got to be you, Roger. <laughs> I meant Jess, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> never mind, Jess. I saw your hidden beauty. Don't worry. I've had several opportunities to work with celebrities, um, sports stars, music stars, TV and film stars. It's been a really lovely experience. And it's not just been presenting that I've been doing, I've also been asked to do a couple of voiceovers for some feature films. And what's been great is that I've also been able to try out some other things. It's Monica, where thousands of fans come to experience the world's most famous sporting event. To be able to have the opportunity to do more TV presenting would be a dream come true. It would be really, really lovely to um, develop on the experiences that I've already had and really to learn and grow more in that area. It's certainly something that I have a passion for, so I'm really hoping to pursue TV presenting. Thanks, you. You're very welcome. Thank you. And thank you for your time. I really hope that you've enjoyed Shoe the Keyhole and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.